guys welcome back for another video but first let's start this video off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god as i open my eyes and start my day i would like to thank you thank you for the air i'm breathing thank you for my good health and thank you for my life the new year has just begun and i am ready to leave the past behind and start with a clean slate please grant me new chances to get things right lead me lead me right into my purpose have your way in my life please wipe away all despair and anger from my spirit today i release the old and welcome in new positive ways i claim new everything thank you for your unconditional love and everlasting mercy in jesus name i pray amen so i pray that that prayer blesses you guys today today is tuesday and i just want to get stuff done around the house I'm on a mission to get my house together before my surgery. Well, now I have to organize, well, mainly organize a little bit in Dustin's room and clean upstairs, like the kids' bedrooms. They're getting ready to go back to school in like two days. And to be honest, I enjoyed winter break. I love having my kids home. It gives us a break from waking up so early in the morning because we wake up at 4 30, 5 o'clock every single day. Um, it just gives us some time off from all of that after school activities, um, making lunches. It, it, it's been a much needed break. I wish I would have enjoyed it better without being sick, but it is what it is. Um, but they're going back to school and I just want to make sure when my kids go to school, I like for them to have a nice clean room because, you know, after being gone all day, I feel like school could be a little stressful. You get to come back home in a nice clean room. It's like their safe space. So I want to get that together. And then whatever whatever else I have going on today, of course, I will share that with you guys. How are you doing? If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I love you guys. And let's get this vlog started. So I first wanted to start off with washing Destiny's sheets. I washed all the kids sheets and comforter today. I'm using the method sleep booster for the sheets. Um, I recently got this from TJ Maxx in a previous vlog I showed you guys. So I got two of them. They had three and I got two of them. So I left one on the shelf just in case someone else wanted it. Normally if I see something, I'm not the type of person that would take everything that I see off the shelf. I will leave something behind. So that's just what I do. And then I also use the method um, laundry detergent. I think this is the lavender and cypress. I got this from Ross in Virginia. I think it was in uh, Charlottesville. I don't know. It was somewhere over there in Virginia. We went there for spring break and I saw it, it was on clearance. So I got a bunch of those as well. And of course I used the Downy's fabric softener, but the Suavitel is actually my favorite. So right here, I'm sharing with you guys the 2023 Holiday Barbie. I have been collecting these for Destiny since she was born. So I've had them since 2013, the year she was born, all the way up to 2023. Um, we used to get them after Christmas sale every single year like clockwork, but I don't know what's going on that now you cannot find them after Christmas, at least not for us in our case. Usually we get these from Walmart. This time we actually found it at um target but every single year we have been collecting these barbies for destiny all the way up to whenever she feels like it now once, once she becomes an adult i don't know if she's going to still collect them or whatever or maybe i should still buy them for her i don't know but we've been collecting collecting them every single year now they're all on top of her shelf right here in the in the closet they're in those little bins i'm trying to see what a, a better way to display it or something i don't know um right now i do want one of my goals is to organize her closet a little bit better <laughs> that's in the future y'all that's i have too many plans
my main focus it was to come into the kids room organize and clean properly for after Christmas because they still have gift bags still in their bedroom stuff still in packages so I made sure that all of that was gone and properly clean now in between my kids do, do clean their own rooms and then once a month or sometimes more depends how my schedule is I'll go in there and do my version of cleaning which is always different <laughs> from what from how they clean their rooms but I actually don't mind cleaning my kids rooms listen I enjoy it I go in there snooping no I'm just kidding <laughs> but you get what I'm saying I just I like to go in there and see you know what's up decorate destiny's little tear tray i got this little tear tray, tray three years ago from target dollar spot i noticed they don't really sell tear trays anymore they used to sell them a lot in their dollar spot was it just me i don't know a lot of this stuff comes either from dollar tree or the dollar spot that i've had for previous years like that little eiffel tower that comes from dollar tree i think they still have it but i wanted to add a few touches of valentine's day um on her tear tray because i know i'm not going to be decorating stuff like that for a while or when the season does come i'm not going to be in a very decorating mood and destiny is always ready for the next thing like she likes seasonal decor in her bedroom it makes her happy i guess she get it from her mama <laughs> but uh so i just went ahead and added her a little valentine's day decor now because i knew i wasn't gonna decorate for that later <laughs> So I just finished wiping out the boys room like all of this was kind of dusty and stuff I didn't really feel much because the boys were in here helping me. I didn't like being filmed too much But it was so hard to dust this shell. So I had David so I had David take every single Lego lay I mean Lego off I could dust Underneath it and then I had him try to dust the actual Lego itself. I heard there's actual Lego cleaners I don't know. I had to look into that um I'm getting ready to maybe order him another set for him to work on but it's I was I almost lifted it up and he came in he came really quick when he saw me trying to attempt that uh, <laughs> and then uh, some of the pieces were falling off so he was able to fix it because I, I, I don't know nothing about that but that was a little hard to do and then we, we were able to do everything else all oh, the room is clean 
Destiny laid up over there. I'm watching their sheets right now. And then I'm getting ready to put the sheets on her bed. to do is decorate my hutch. Y'all know how much I love decorating this hutch. Now, upstairs I did a small touch of Valentine's Day for Destiny's little tear tray because I know I'm, I won't be able to get to it for a while. So I'm going to add a very small touch of Valentine's Day on this hutch and that's about it. And I won't touch it for a while, maybe till springtime. But I'm excited. I'm excited. So I remember in the last video, I was talking to you guys about the bowl fillers. The link to that is in my Amazon favorites. If you're looking for it, they have different varieties. This one is more of a neutral beige one, but it also has artichokes inside. I love it. So the one from the living room is more with like greenery, which I love greenery. That's like my favorite thing to decorate with. That's why I love plants. I just feel like it looks so nice in the home. And then decorating with greeneries and stuff like that. But I'm gonna give it a small touch of Valentine's Day um, in the hutch. Just very tiny, that's as much as you will get for this season. And yeah. Now, back in the day, I used to love decorating my tear trays a lot, especially for the seasons. But once we got this hutch, I don't know if you guys been around when we, John and I DIY this hutch. Um, it was, to me, this is like my bigger version of a tear tray. So with all the seasons and stuff, I love decorating this hutch. I didn't feel the need to decorate a tear tray and also a hutch, you get what I'm saying? So. Um, I just love changing it up. The books that I add to my hutch, I get them from the Goodwill. I look at the covers and I was specifically looking for like pastel pinks, very soft pinks and maybe slightly purple. Um, and I was only able to find three. It was very hard to find a hardcover book that was pink. <laughs> Or like a light pink or a darker pink that wasn't loud it was very hard for me to do but i was able to find at least three i did the same thing for christmas which is the green and red to add to my hutch i just get this stuff from goodwill
way the hutch turned out i feel like there's something missing right here but with time i'm gonna add that on there but that's okay um for right now i really love the way everything turned out mom did you say hey to them today not yet hello hi everybody yeah happy new year um mom been busy in the kitchen she's actually working on some bread pudding but um you yeah. Can show me. yeah, let me show you guys real quick. Mom made some bread pudding in the bump pan, so that's what she made. Did you follow a recipe or anything, Mom? My own recipe, yeah. She, she said her own recipe, which means she made it up along the way. <laughs> so there's no recipe, which means it, it means that there's no recipe. Mom is working on some more pastelas. We have some extra, so she's been fixing it today. And I had some for lunch because after tomorrow, I cannot eat anything. Um, so I'm taking full advantage of that. And if you hear Devin, y'all, he's playing video games and he, he's a very loud player. Hey guys, so it's now the next day and last night John checked my P.O. box for me and I got some more cards in the mail. So the first one comes from Sonia uh, Robinson and this is the card. It says happy holidays to Yesenia and family wishing you a cheerful holiday and bright new year. Blessings from Sonia. Thank you so much Sonia for my Christmas card. Thank you, thank you. I love getting cards, like I love it. Next one is from Stephanie Battaglio. And this is the card. All right, it has a little tape on there. And y'all, this is so sweet. She sent me a card with a gift card. It says, wishing you a joyful moment, special memories, and all the happy you deserve this birthday and always birthday cheers to send me a birthday card and it says may the light and of God's love ever be upon you um Stephanie and she sent me a goodwill gift card thank you so much this will definitely come in good use I am definitely using this y'all know I love going to the goodwill it's because I like going to the goodwill but it's basically because that's what we, what we mainly have here. When we used to live in Colorado, there was this um, thrift store called The Ark. And man, that was the best thrift store. I wish we had one of those here. But we don't. This one does not say. But it's cause it comes from San Leandro, California. And this is the card. Christmas prayer. And it's a trifold card. So it says, praying you have a wonderful and blessed Christmas season. Pray you and the family have a blessed Christmas and happy New Year's. Love, Naomi Carter. So this is her card. But it's like a trifold card. Isn't this beautiful? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. And this one comes from Douglasville, Georgia. And it comes with a Christmas card. And she sent me cards before. You know why? Because she sent me uh, uh, her family Christmas like picture card. And I have the others. And she sent me this one for this year. I mean, for 2023. This is them. Isn't that so nice? It says, Dear Yesenia and family, I continue to watch you and your family on YouTube and you continue to be an inspiration. Thank you for sharing your life and family with us. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas, Tahira Chandler. Thank you, Tahira. I love the Chandlers, John, David, Tahira, and John Sylvester. That is so nice. I love their Christmas cards. I told you guys, she sent me um, some before. And I remember... And then the last one comes from Angelica Ortiz. It says, Merry Christmas. It says, May your journey be merry and bright. Happy New Year and Christmas merry. <laughs> Thank you so much, Angelica. Thank you guys so much for even thinking of me around this time of the year. 
I appreciate it so much, you guys. Thank you. And I have been buying a few things to get ready for my surgery, right? So first, one of the things I bought, and it, it don't even have to be for surgery. This could be for anybody that has a lot of medications or vitamins to take. I bought this pill organizer. I'm going to add that to my Amazon favorites link. I bought this one specifically for a reason. A lot of the vitamins, you will have to take a lot of vitamins after surgery, but a lot of the vitamins cannot be taken together or you have to take it multiple times a day. So it comes in a case, right? And it has a clip on the front, but I like it because each day from Sunday to Saturday has morning, noon, evening, and bedtime. So you can divide up your vitamins and your stuff so I, I bought that because I know it will be needed and necessary. Um, and then my bariatric nurse, she told me to get Flintstone vitamins for the beginning. And because it's Flintstone vitamins, she told me to take it um, twice a day instead of just one time a day. But she told me to get the chewable extra with iron. So I got that. And then afterwards, she told me to start taking bariatric vitamins. So I got that. And then... I also got some gas heads because of the gas pains afterwards. I also got the extra strength chewable gas X. So I got that. I'm taking that with me to the hospital. I was told to take Vaseline because your lips are extra dry. Um, and then I also bought the Barry Melt multivitamin with iron. Got that from Amazon. So I took advantage of a lot of the uh, Black Friday sales. A lot of this stuff was on sale. That's when I bought the stuff that I needed. I bought myself a hospital bag and everything. Um, I don't know if you guys are even interested with me showing you guys what I bought. I'm just showing y'all. So I got that. Today's my last day of being able to eat. Today. Today, Wednesday the 3rd. Um, yeah. <laughs> my last day, y'all. So today is kind of like my birthday dinner. Nothing special. Uh, my birthday is this Sunday, but I we got roasted potatoes, asparagus, and salmon. Salmon is my absolute favorite fish. So that's what we we're having for dinner tonight. My mom made bread pudding last night. It was delicious, and it's good. After that, I'm I'm gonna be okay. I don't. Um, I'll be fine. But that, that's my birthday dinner. And then I got these curtains for the kitchen. I'm gonna have, I don't think I'm gonna put it up today or be, you guys will see it in a future video. I got these curtains for the kitchen. These are 91 inches or 96 inches, let me see. It's better, I always make sure to put the curtain rod three to four inches above the windowsill, above the top and then have it draped to the bottom. So it'd be like 91 inches. Instead of the 84 inch curtains, it's better to have the longer ones. It makes it look more like drapes. You know, makes it look nice. Let me see how long is these. I'll have it in my Amazon favorites if you're looking for something like this. Okay, so these are 96 inches. So these are long and they have different designs. But I wanted something like this. I have white sheer curtains and I'm gonna keep them on there. Um, I'm gonna keep them on there, but I want to put curtains like these on each end. So I like the design and the, how neutral it is. I love beige for the house. So I got these um, and I can't wait to see how that looks. I love this time of year because usually I like, I, I like to do like a little refresh, something different and new, you know? So. Um, I'll show you guys how that looks in a future video. But I also want to end it, this video with the Fetch Leadership Board. I know I haven't done it in a while and I even got a message saying that she that you miss it. So I'm going to get back to that. So let's do the Fetch Leadership shout out. Now, if you don't know what Fetch is, Fetch is an app where you scan your receipts, any receipts that you have, and you gain points toward gift cards. I love it. I've had many gift cards. Right now, I only got 20,000 points, okay? But I'm working hard on it. But... I like to do the leadership shout out because you guys are scanning your receipts. Y'all not playing. I see you getting uh, redeeming your uh, your gift cards on there as well. I am number 695, so if you do not hear your name, don't feel bad because neither I'm not on there as well. I'm on there, but I'm far, far away. You guys do not be playing. So for the month of December, 
Nina Sky won uh, second place. No, first place was Ted Videcki. She's always first place. Second place was Nina Sky. And then uh, third place was Cindy and Scott Fitzgerald. Now for January, first place is Dan S. Number two is Ryan Radford. Three is Cindy and Scott Fitzgerald. Four is Roger Libby. Five is Sandra Marvel. Six is Ken Moore. Seven is Gwendolyn Bozeman. Number eight is Maxine Berth Daxter. Nine is Sean Moses. Ten is Deborah Fitch. Eleven is Chandra Todd. Twelve is Monica Hernandez. Thirteen is Jane Schwager. Fourteen is Robert Johnson. Fifteen is Nina Sky. Sixteen is Eureka Tyree, I think. Seventeen is Markel Williams. Eighteen is Beth K. 19 is Renee Jones and number 20 is Thomas Ramquist. I hope I said that right. So that's the top 20 spots on a Fetch leadership board. So if you're not there, don't feel bad because neither am I. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye, y'all.